Flowcharts can be used to explain a complete process of a project or a flow. This video provides a guide on how to create a flowchart in Excel or other proficient tools. A project always follows a certain procedural flow before moving towards its practical demonstration. There are many techniques of showing how a project would be executed, however, professionals consider the use of flowcharts as the most effective technique to explain the complete system or activity. A flowchart is a diagram of the sequence of actions or processes that would come in a certain order while working on the project. To make a flowchart, the need for perfect software is evident for effective work. Thus, this video has made it simple by providing a unique guide on how to create a flowchart in Excel, followed by another impressive tool that enhances workability. To start the process, you need to open a new worksheet. Click on the triangular-shaped icon between the column and row headings to select the complete sheet. Right-click on any column to select the option of Column Width. Following this, set a number in the dialog box and click OK. Proceed to the Page Layout tab and move forward to the Arrange section. Select the Align option and click on Snap to Grid from the drop-down menu. On the same tab, you will find the option of Orientation. Select Landscape to change the orientation. Once changed, proceed to the Insert tab and click on Shapes. Select the shape you wish to add and set up the flowchart shapes accordingly. After adding the shapes, move across the same shapes section on the Insert tab and select Line or Arrow as connectors to the shapes. Add the lines across the shapes to develop the flowcharts. To add the text across the shape, double-click any shape and include the text across the flowchart. Once done, your flowchart is completed. Building a complete flowchart from scratch can be torturous without the proper tools. Every modification in building a flowchart on Excel can get frustrating. While managing a project, it can usually get complicated due to the complexity of diagrams. Download and launch the latest version of EdraMind on your computer. Proceed to select a flowchart template according to your requirement. You can also select Org Chart for this process. Once a new window opens up with the selected template, you can now easily make changes across it. To make the flowchart extensive, if you wish to add a topic or a subtopic across it, it can be done with a couple of buttons. To add a main topic across your template, click Enter. Conversely, you have to click Tab to add a subtopic across any selected main topic. While adding topics and subtopics across your flowchart, you can also customize your template with a set of different features. To change the arrow between the progressing tabs of the flowchart, you need to select the required tab and proceed to the Branch Arrows option across the branch section. Select any branch or arrow that you wish to change for a certain sector of the flowchart. If you are looking forward to changing the shape of any particular element of the flowchart, select it and proceed to the Shape section. Select any shape that you wish to change it to. To make things better and cognitive in flowchart creation, EdraMind provides you the option of adding a floating topic besides the flowchart. Double-click anywhere across the sheet to create a floating topic. Once added, you need to select it and proceed to the Relationship and select the other section that you wish to connect to. Write the details of the relationship across the Label section. While creating a flowchart, you can also change the style of your flowchart. Unselect the flowchart and find the option of Themes in the right side panel. Select an appropriate theme according to your liking. As you are done setting up your flowchart across EdraMind, you can easily export the file in Excel format. 
Proceed to the File tab and find the Export option on the left side panel. Click on Excel to save the flowchart across your computer as an Excel file. There are an extensive set of templates that you can find across EdroMind for building up a flowchart. Here are some great examples of flowcharts that you can consider to make a flowchart for your project across EdroMind. This proficient example of a flowchart displays a very simple set of possibilities to the viewers. With two potential outcomes displayed in the example, you can add as many outcomes as you want across the template. Such flowcharts are extremely important in setting up a defined goal for its users across the flowchart. In sum, EdroMind makes itself a perfect tool to make flowcharts of its capability of sharing and collaborating with the team while keeping the user in control.